Welcome to Beyond Sunday with Pastor Nick Williams. South Shore Community Church exists to help all people find and follow Jesus. Join us weekly as we talk through current sermons, theology, parenting issues, and how to have a gospel-centered marriage. We are praying that today's message helps you grow closer to Jesus. Now, here's your host, Pastor Nick. Have you ever stood at the edge of decision, longing for change, yet felt paralyzed by doubt or fear? What if the key to transformation was not just in wanting it, but in taking a step of faith, even when the path isn't fully visible? In the heart of the Gospel of John, nestled within the stories of miracles and teachings, lies a tale that echoes this very dilemma. It's a story not just of physical healing, but of a moment where the invisible bridge of faith becomes visible to one man. This man's waiting by the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. This man, surrounded by others, also in search of healing, is about to encounter a question that will forever change his course. And it's a question that reverberates through time, asking us the same thing today. For just a moment, let's journey back in time to the bustling surroundings of the Bethesda pool as depicted in the Gospel of John chapter 5. In this season, there's a festival going on. The amount of people in the city has uh, probably quadrupled, almost 2 million people, some would say. And here amidst the throng of those aching for healing, we meet a man who has been shackled by his infirmities for 38 long years. Uh, Imagine the countless seasons he's watched the water stirred, each time hoping for his chance at renewal, yet always left unaided and untouched by the pool's reputed healing powers. Do you want to be healed? Jesus' direct question to this man in John 5 isn't about physical healing. It's an invitation to spiritual and emotional transformation. This question urges us to reflect on our own desires for change and the depth of our longing for God's intervention in our lives. I love how J.P. Morgan once said, the first step towards getting somewhere is to decide you're not going to stay where you are. And this man had to make that same journey. Now, he was waiting for just the right moment, For him, it was the right moment for someone to help him into that pool. This long wait symbolizes how often we find ourselves waiting for the right moment or the perfect condition to seek change, not not realizing that with Jesus, the time is always now. Alan Cohen once said, do not wait until the conditions are perfect to begin. Beginning makes the conditions perfect. So Jesus says to this man, get up, take up your bed and walk. This command emphasizes the necessity of our participation in the healing process. Faith is not passive. It requires us to take decisive steps, even when the outcome is uncertain. Martin Luther King Jr. once said that faith is taking the first step, even when you don't see the whole staircase. See, the healing at Bethesda broke conventional norms. It's happening on the Sabbath, reminding us that God's grace operates beyond human-imposed boundaries and limitations. It's a call to recognize that divine interventions don't always fit within our expectations or timelines. Philip Yancey once said that grace does not depend on what we have done for God, but rather what God has done for us. After the man is healed... Jesus finds him in the temple and says, sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. This statement isn't just about sin avoidance. It's a deeper call to a transformed life, to finding an identity grounded not in our afflictions or past, but in the wholeness offered through Christ. Someone once said our wounds are often the openings into the best and most beautiful parts of us. I got a call this morning that a friend of mine had passed away. I don't know the full details yet. He 
He's an addict, and, and I've seen him walk this road uh, of recovery for about eight years now. And I've celebrated with him when the times were, were exciting, and I, I've been sad with him when he's off on a bender. But I've always wanted to, for him to live out these words uh, of Scripture, to go and sin no more, to, to not allow your past and the comfort of what you used to know be what you continue to return to. So today, as we reflect on this profound encounter, let us consider our own places of waiting, our own pools of Bethesda, if you will. Are you truly ready for transformation? And when asked if, if you want to be healed, how do you respond to God? See, the story of the man at Bethesda invites you and I to stand up in faith, to take our beds of comfort and familiarity, and to walk into the new life that God offers. Thank you for tuning in to Beyond Sunday. We hope the conversations and insights shared here have brought you encouragement and have deepened your journey of faith. If today's episode has inspired you, we invite you to follow or subscribe to our podcast so you never miss an opportunity to grow closer to Jesus alongside us. Don't forget to share this podcast with friends and family who might be blessed by it too. Until next time, thanks for joining us and may God bless you abundantly.